She's now calmed down a bit after the little nutter run she does after she has a bath. And honestly, I am really happy with that shampoo. I didn't put the conditioner on her because she's not very patient at the moment being a puppy, like a young puppy. She doesn't stay still very long. I will definitely give it a go at some point. But yeah, the smell of this stuff is really, really good. I did actually prefer it to the shampoo that I used before because it bubbled up more. So it was easier to move it about rather than having to get more and put it on like her neck and stuff. I have a feeling she's fine with it too. She was like licking it and stuff, which obviously I don't want to encourage. But it doesn't matter if she licks a bit of it because it's all natural so I'm not too worried. But yeah, I will leave links and stuff to their shop below if you're interested. Yeah, I've realised that she is full on molting right now because the bath was full of it. It's getting caught in all of her little snugs. Yeah, there's just hairs everywhere which is not fun today my main thing to do is the project for do crafts so this is all the stuff they sent me to do the project i obviously can't show you what i'm doing because it's content for the magazine um but this is a little kind of sneak peek of what they sent me and what you might see on the project i think this one is for the november November or October issue. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on with that and then I have two more things I really need to get done today and I'm hoping that little miss will nap. At the moment though, she is watching a dog outside so I don't think she'll be napping anytime soon. Yesterday I spent a lot of my day working on the project for Do Crafts and then also this Patreon Happy Mail. I am a little bit behind with these. I, for some reason, August has disappeared on me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting them done. I'm getting this one posted today along with another one and I just have one more to make before the end of August. I was up until 2am making this because Bonnie did not nap very well yesterday and I didn't get much of a chance to do anything. So yeah, I'm not going to show you at all because obviously the person hasn't seen it yet. But yeah, that's a little, little sneaky peek. I got another travelling postcard, arrive home. I love these. I love these so much. They always look so awesome. So this one has been to a few places in the UK. It's been been to Sweden, it's been to Scotland, it's been to the USA, Germany, Wales, Poland, uh, yeah. That's what the postcard was. I started it in February. So it didn't take too long considering. My other ones have taken a bit longer I think but yeah this one kind of sped around the group. I also have my paper gang box which I am so excited about. I'm actually going to open it now. So I'm going to open it and I'll show you what's in it. This one is another Gemma Crowell one. So on the box there is a cat to make. So we have a to-do list which is adorable. So it's a person with a stripy top or a stripy dress and it has her little pug down the bottom that she does. There's then a greetings card that says this year's best festival is Couchcella. <laughs> There's the October writer calendar. There's then then some stickers. These are really cool. I love how those are packaged. So it's like in an envelope and there is four A6 sheets of illustrated stickers. So I'm going to open those up in a minute and I'll go through them. There's some sticky notes. There's obviously the card which has everything on and prices. And then there is, oh my gosh, what are these? <gasps> they're pens. For a moment I thought they were pencils. Oh my gosh. Please say they're gel ink. If they're gel ink, I'm going to be using them so much. I'm going to have to open those and have a look. Hold on. Ah, the gel ink. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about those. I was trying to write hello and I got too excited and I wrote hell. Um, but yeah, they're gel ink and they're black, so I'm going to be using these so much. So this one just has the red stripes on. This one has a load of dogs on. And then this one has like socks and hearts and pencils and just kind of random stuff on it. So the stickers are four of the same sheet. So this is what you get on the sheet. And then it comes in a little envelope like this, which is adorable. As always with this box, I'll leave a link below. It's my referral link. So if you do fancy signing up, I'd really appreciate you using it. Honestly, I have not been feeling that great. I haven't really wanted to put my face on camera. I've been so busy and so stressed. Um, I've had my face breaking out like crazy and some things have happened that have just kind of brought me down. My SAD has started. It's the end of the summer. The weather is getting grotty again. I've just been like crying for no reason. I've just been so down. So I've not wanted to pick up the camera and put my face on it. So I am really sorry that the past few clips have been kind of montaged and not really explained, um, but hopefully they're self-explanatory. But I'm gonna try and 
film as much as I can this week. I'm combining a bit of last week into this week. Um, and I'll probably combine a bit of this week <laughs> into next week. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm just going to vlog and then put it together and see what happens. But yeah, I have had some exciting things happen, which has kind of been the cause of the stress because I've had a load of deadlines. I'm kind of on top of things a bit more now, so I feel a little more calm. My pizza just squeaked. <laughs> This is how you know I've had a bad day, is <laughs> when we actually have food at the moment, um, like stuff that I can make into meals and I've just decided to grab a frozen pizza because I can't be bothered and I don't know what I fancy, I have no appetite. This is my dinner, I'm going to go and eat this, watch some Netflix and then probably go to bed because it's about 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's 5 past 9. <laughs> Today I have decided out of the blue to rearrange my shop stock. So I have these two units over here. Um, this one is a Stuva, I think it's said, um, from Ikea. And I've basically got two on top of one another. And then this is from the range. It's kind of like a smaller Ikea Kallax. Um, so the holes are smaller. So I prefer it because it's kind of a bit more compact. It's not as big. But you can only buy these drawers from the range. And they don't always have them in stock. So that's a little annoying. <laughs> so yeah, I did have it. So this section on the top was Cloudy Cow. And then this was Days of My Jewelry. And then this had a load of, well, basically all this stuff. No, why is it? I turn the camera on and she's like, let's go, let's go do stuff. Hold on, I'm going to have to go and see if she needs a wee or something. As I was saying, <laughs> these three sections had a load of random stuff that I just need to sort through, really. And there's still stuff at the bottom one. But I've decided to take the charm boxes, which were down here, and put them in here because they look neater. <laughs> um, these drawers just have packaging in, so they've got like three different sizes of envelopes. On the top of them, I still need to sort those out. But yeah, this is how <laughs> it's all looking at the moment. I'll update you when I've hopefully got at least this section sorted. <laughs> taken out all the pens from these big trays and I've put them in these small boxes which are obviously see-through so I can kind of see pretty much which is in which box. I found that these clear boxes in all the different sizes are great for trays. Obviously one box is kind of like two trays. Same goes for these as well which I use for the washi tapes. So there's a lid and a bottom of one box but they are both trays and it means I can keep a lot of washi in a small amount of space and I can also see all of them at once which is something that I always struggled with so I can just pull them out see which is in which one and grab what I need so yeah I'm planning to have the top section with just washi I hope it will motivate me as well to fill up the shop stock because I'm kind of reluctant to at the moment because I know I don't have a ton of space and it's not super organized so if I get it super organized fingers crossed it will make me more motivated to get more stock in the bottom section kind of goes a bit funny because all of these have like two gaps in between whereas this one if I left it to two there'd be like a weird slither shelf at the bottom <laughs> um, which wouldn't be usable so I've left that off and put these buckets at the bottom which are the Ikea ones again and three of them fit in here quite well there's gaps between them obviously I could shove them all up and stuff something down the side but I don't want to but these are going to keep all of the stickers and smaller sticky notes in and then down here i'm planning to have a shelf of pens again i need to get more of these boxes because i have a random tray with random pens in and again these will have like gaps between them but it's organized so i'm not too worried and then down the bottom i'm yet to figure out these shelves but i've got the bigger sticky notes that i need to put in there again another bucket of sticky notes i have all of the charms as well which i need to organize these better i might put them in here so they're all in one place but i don't know yet <laughs> but once i figured that out I then have to figure these out and I mean these are figured out but I've got all of this stuff that I have to sort through and put somewhere um, and that's a random dog treat by the way because <laughs> Bonnie was being a pain in the bum so the only way I could keep her from being naughty was to have treats on hand so that's just chilling there at the moment. I kind of want to get something sorted on top as well like organisation wise. don't know where I'm putting all these, these are all my finished um, jewellery so like they're all packaged up ready to go just don't know where I'm gonna put them yet I might just have them stacked on top somewhere I 
don't know though. I'm just gonna get on with this now and try and get some sort of organization um, so I can get on with some other work as well. I was just editing the vlog and I thought I'd best show you what I ended up doing with the organization of the shop stock rather than leave you hanging. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is pretty much the same. Still bits and pieces I need to go through and sort but they're like sorted in a box so I know that this is like Christmas and Halloween jewellery that I need to go through. This is new pieces that I need to go through. Like everything's in a little box so I can just go through things as and when I have time to and kind of bit by bit rather than all at once. Still need to find homes for all this stuff but again I've sorted it into separate boxes so I know what's in what and I know where everything is. Not really happy with this but it's all in a place for now. I don't know if you can hear Bonnie snoring in the background but if you can she's fast asleep on my chair. <laughs> this is how we have to sit now when she's like not wanting to sit on the window. I don't want her to go downstairs yet. I have to kind of bribe her by saying you can sit on my chair. I wedge on the edge and she sits on the back but it means I get a few more minutes to work. <laughs> um, but yeah, haven't gone through the top of these units yet. Um, but I might move those up there at some point, don't know yet. So I put all the charms in here, they're still a bit messy but they're in one place rather than being in like three different boxes. This box has a load of seconds in and then I have sticky notes, I have pens, I have stickers and smaller sticky notes. This is kind of a row of stuff I need to sort. So I've got a load of charms that I bought to make into planner charms and I've just never got around to it. So I think I might just have a day of going through that box making charms and then I'll just list them somewhere. These are obviously empty and ready for the washi stock that I've ordered yesterday. And then at the top I have all the washi I have at the moment. Um, I might turn these around actually so the pretty side is at the front. It's it's the little things, just it's just satisfying having them all neat. So yeah, that is my finished organisation for today. I'm happy having it somewhat organised and knowing where everything is. That's like the main thing that I wanted to do today was find out where everything was. I think I'm going to end the vlog here just because it's kind of been a mismatched week or two weeks, week and a half don't even know how long it's been. I hope you've enjoyed this anyway. I'm probably going to start next week's vlog on the same day because I got a box arrive that I want to open and show you. I didn't want to make this vlog too long. Let me know if you have any questions. Obviously I'll leave anything I've mentioned linked below and I'll see you next week.